attempt to do a herping video i have not done one in a while i have done a few but then they just never got uploaded because they were really crappy and didn't really find out what so i just never uploaded them so this is me trying to attempt to do a better one and hopefully this will get added to my channel and as well as my facebook page um jb exotics is my facebook page i'll post the link in the description box below go check that out and let's get started so this is my sister's land. She has lots of woods. Um, at least 80% of her land is wooded and is pretty much untouched. There's tons of wildlife here from mammals to reptiles to amphibians and much more. I find snakes almost every single day here. They are usually everywhere. Black rat snakes, garter snakes, you name it. Lots of salamanders as well. I find a lot of uh, northern slimy salamanders, redback salamanders and much more. A lot of red f's today it just had we just had a thunderstorm so it is like everything is soaked um still like thundering a bit it's been doing that for the past like hour i keep checking the radar to make sure it's gonna be at least safe to just be walking out in the woods so let's hope this all goes well let's go ahead and flip over this first fog let's see if there's anything under it Oh, and there we go. Not even five minutes into the video and we found some life. Where'd you go? Oh, right there. That is a, I believe, a northern slimy salamander. This one's actually a nice size one. I had one of these once. It was pretty cool to care for. And they get their name northern slimy is because our salamanders are slimy but um these guys when you pick them up they'll actually secrete this very thick mucus slime like stuff and it's extremely stick sticky it's like tree sap it's pretty sticky so that's where they get their name northern slimy i'll be back when i get to the next location a nice log. Looks like it's been sitting here. Let's see if there is under anything under it. It's like a hole here. I think I just saw something move. Probably a salamander. I went down to those things. It rained, stormed for a while. Can't see anything now. Just flip that back over in case there's something moving under here. Nothing under that. Hopefully this video goes good. Otherwise, if it does, turns out kind of crappy, I probably won't upload it or label it as a herping fail. So some tires here. There's a lot of like random stuff that's been on this property for a very long time. Uh, so let's see if anything is under it. Doesn't really actually look like it. Hoping we were going to be to a good start, but maybe not. We'll find out. And doesn't seem to be anything under here as well. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. We're going to move towards this way over here. Be back when I find something. There's this rock here. It looks like it's been up against this tree for a while and there's some gaps around it. Got to bring you guys along just in case there's something behind it. Let's see here. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I'm surprised there are not red Fs everywhere. Usually, after it storms, they are literally everywhere you step. But there is not. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, there. What, do you see that little orange speck right in the middle of the screen? Haha. -ha. We're literally just talking about them. And here is our first one. Hi, little guy. Pretty cool. If you guys don't know what a red F is, a red F is a like a uh, land-dwelling stage of the eastern newt. 
commonly known as the orange spotted newt or the red spotted newt. I'll throw a picture of a full grown one in, up in the corner of the screen. I'll throw a picture up there. Um, these guys turn fully aquatic when they're fully grown. This is like their uh, sub adult stage, if you want to call it that. Then they'll eventually morph into this more aquatic water living creature. Um, they usually turn green to like a dark yellow and then they still have the distinctive orange spots so yeah that's pretty cool there are some logs over here so i'm just gonna keep filming and see if we catch anything else <clears throat> as you can see some of these logs have already been kind of flipped over it's from previous times but it's been a long time since i've been to over here so there's a slug that's about it there it's been a while since i've been messed with any of these so we still might find some exciting things try these little ones first that don't look like anything <laughs> unfortunately this is usually how it goes when i film in a herping view oh oh oh, oh. there's another salamander it looks like we might be getting nothing but salamanders today guys uh where'd you go I'll take a look at Northern Slimy. Oh, oh, wait. Oops, sorry about that. He's so tiny. Hey, little guy. Oh, oh, he's fast, too. Oh, oh, here he is. Ah, dude, come here. Come here, can I just hold you for a minute? Okay, guess not. Let him go. There he is. That's just a baby one, guys. This is a perfect time to find it because it is around 3.15, 3, about 3.15 in the afternoon, and we just had a long rainstorm. So, yeah. And I apologize for the guineas that you may hear in the background. My sister has a farm. Just thought I'd put that out there. Let's see about under here. Oh, oh there's another one inside me. Another baby. Right there under that leaf. You see his tail right there. There he goes. Okay. I think I know what I am going to title this video. Two right side by side, pretty much. There's three. Oh, okay. I would have been cool three for three, but... I guess that's not in our favor. Let's try this here. This looks like a fun one. Whoops. Oh, there's a centipede. Used to have those as pets. Those are fun. Definitely don't want to get bit by one, even one that little. And mine, you might be allergic to them. <laughs> Thankfully, I am not to that species because I have been bit. Let's see. Doesn't look like anything under this. But, that's the whole point of looking. Let's try this. It looks like it's been here for a really long time. <clears throat> like a little beetle. Darkling beetle or something there. And it looks like nothing but like termites or ants. I don't know. I don't really know anything about termites or ants. That's why I just... One or the other. I right, hear something I missed. Let's see. Is there anything under it? Ah, it's breaking apart. Hit it when that happens. Oh, another northern slimy. Oh, red bat. He just went down in the dirt. Oh, hold on. Right here, northern red bat. I can't find him. Where do you go? Ah, a really tiny one. I don't know where the other. Uh, Baby Northern Slimy went. Hmm. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Those things are lightning fast as well. Oh man. Nothing there. Okay, let's see where else we are going.
Sorry for the awkward silence. I've been thinking. <laughs> oh, man. There's nothing there either. Well, we're having a little luck, guys, but there's still a lot that we're not finding. This is probably all thorns, but I don't care. There's nothing in there anyhow. Alright guys, well I'm going to cut right here and I'll be back when I find a better location and if I come up with anything. So I did come across a little centipede. It was being very steel. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. That's about it so far. Centipedes, I just don't know. I just love them things. I don't know why. I just think they're pretty awesome. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just love those things. <laughs> I've had several as pets, just small ones, but eventually probably will add a like a Vietnamese or something to my collection at some point. In the near future, too. So. Probably not a good idea to be digging through with my hands. Oh, there's another northern slimy. Those things are everywhere. <laughs> Hey little guy, there's like a bunch of babies still. Found that one big one. But nothing but small ones now. Ah oh, man, I don't know guys. I'm keep trying here. Hmm. Alright guys, well I'm going to find somewhere else around here to go. Uh, maybe I'll have more better luck, but stay tuned. Guys, I was just walking and I almost stepped on it. <laughs> Another red F. Right there. Let's get a little closer look. I just absolutely love these guys. I've had one in my lifetime. So cool. I'm not gonna pick them up, I don't wanna disturb them, but yeah, I just literally got about to walk back and find somewhere else to go, and I stumbled upon him. I thought that was neat. Be back in a minute. Oh guys, okay, so <laughs> I was just walking here and something jumped and this really cool looking frog or toad just jumped up onto this, um, this log. It's pretty cool looking. I've seen ones like that before, but I'm not actually very familiar with the frogs in my area of Pennsylvania. <laughs> I know it's weird, I've studied animals my whole life, but I'm not familiar with the frogs around here. That's pretty cool though. This is a wood frog. Can I pick you up? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, he <laughs> just going down there. That was pretty cool. I just heard like a branch break somewhere. There is also like tons of deer around here as well. So hopefully that's it. <laughs> oh boy, that was pretty cool. I'm gonna have to look that up. That was pretty sick looking. Okay, let's see here. Really watch where I'm stepping. Mainly because I don't want to accidentally step on any red Fs because usually they're literally everywhere. So we're just trying to be careful about that. <clears throat> Man, I never get tired of being out here, honestly. There's a nice rock. Let's see if there's anything under it. Oh, <laughs> literally, what I'm, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Rat ass everywhere. There's another one. <laughs> Jeez. 
That's why I'm ta talking about watching where I step. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's what I mean. Rad F's everywhere after it rains. Anything here? No, actually, I'm gonna move this little guy underneath here. Just so I know he does not get squished. Let's see if there's anything under this rock. This rock looks like it hasn't been moved in a long time or ever. And there's nothing under it. Hmm. Oh, wait, actually, there is a snail or it's just a shell. I don't know. Let's see. No, there's actually a snail in it. Sorry, that one focus. <laughs> Coolio. So we found a snail. Oh, what the heck, guys? Seriously, another red F. Like, for real. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That one's literally five feet. Five feet from where the other one was. If not five, not even a whole five feet. It's pretty awesome. Oh, just stepped on a stick that he was under. Whoops, okay. Oh, man, I've, I'm really going to watch where I'm stepping now. This thing blend right in with the, um, the, the orange leaves. Here's another one. Hold on. There's another one right there, right in front of me. So we got that one there, that one over there, and then the other one over by the rock. That's what, three? Yeah, three in a row. <laughs> That's what I'm seriously talking about. I think it's pretty amazing, though. to get it close up of this guy oh he's nice and plump too look at that belly beautiful guys i'm actually really impressed oh there's some thunder really impressive how well my phone camera is doing here for focusing <laughs> would look under this log but this is like an entire tree and that would be impossible for one person <sighs> man i really gotta think of a title for this Video. Red F's everywhere. Salamanders everywhere. I don't know. I'll think about it, though. Take so much orange leaves. I don't want to accidentally end up stepping on a red F. I'd, I'd feel so, so bad. It's pretty awesome, though, guys. Oh, and I also want to say that I might even make a part two to this, depending on how long this video is. I usually don't go over 20 minutes. So I may even break it up in part two. <laughs> we'll find out though. Hmm. Surprised not seeing any red. Oh, <laughs> I just about to say I didn't see no red Fs. And what are you night? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Another freaking red F. And I almost wonder if I have stepped on any. Just because they are absolutely everywhere. See, it is a nice rock. Not like it's ever been touched. Man, I really had good hopes that there's gonna be something under it. Something living. Looks like there's a spider under it, but that's about it. That's a bummer. Looks like I'm confined as red F's today. Pretty cool though. Alright, let me turn it real back over here. Make sure I don't step on that guy. Oh, there he is. Okay. Don't really want to go through all those ferns. Uh, I'm wearing shorts. One, there's places usually loaded with ticks. And two, there's most likely a copperhead or something in there. It would not surprise me. I haven't seen any in this area yet, but it's about that time for babies. Guys, <laughs> as I would speak, there's another freaking red F. That little orange right there. It's amazing. 
It's not even funny anymore. <laughs> Apologies, guys. I had gotten a phone call right in the middle of that. That's why it cut off. But anyway, here is another red F. These things are absolutely everywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that guy go about his day. And we're gonna continue. Like I said, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. So I may break it up into two parts. So just keep an eye out for that in case I do. So. There's some stuff that doesn't look like it's ever been touched really. Let's see if there's anything under it. Of course there's not. All we can find is cell managers and red Fs. And well, we found that frog. So that's a plus. That's a cool looking frog. I'll have to look that up. Uh, I'll probably post that in my, on my Facebook. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still on the lookout for red Fs. Just so I know I'm not going to step on any. Here's a log. Oh, I'm walking into a big orb weaver spider web. Okay, I'll go around it. Let's try this log here. Might be able to move it one handed. Oh, there we go. Oh, a lot of holes in it. Just in the ground. I don't see anything though. All these little holes, like from rodents or whatever. No, nothing other than no. It's a bummer. Well, we'll keep looking. some potential let's see maybe not <laughs> there's nothing there what's that okay i don't know top of an acorn or something I may end up cutting for another minute. I know I keep cutting. Uh, just so I can get to a different location. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. I went along the driveway because it's wooded on both sides. And I come across another red F. I think I know what I'm going to title this video. In case you didn't see that. And there he is. The driveway is all wooded too, so it's pretty nice. Just walking along just to see if there's any here or anything at all. And lo and behold, there's red F's. <laughs> Literally everywhere. It's kind of hard to see because these leaves are, green, are orange and brown. So <sighs> sometimes it can be hard to spot in that for obvious reasons. Slate like rocks here. See if there's anything under there. More rocks. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. Uh, was there anything like I thought there would be? A nice size one. See if there's anything under it. And what do you know? More rocks. Still no more red F, surprisingly. <sighs> Let's go through all that, but it's ferns. And I don't know what's actually laying on the bottom there. Some nice sized rocks. Kind of shocked there's nothing under it. <laughs> nice sized rocks, though. more
kind of disappointing. There's just nothing under those rocks. <clears throat> and obviously, I'm not just going to stand here and go through every single rock either, so... Here's a nice one. Let's see if there's anything under it. Nope. That's upsetting. I'll go to the other side of the driveway on the way back. <sighs> I probably won't film that just because you guys are probably getting a little bored. So if you want to fast forward, you can. I'm just going to keep rolling. Okay, so far nothing. Except that one right after there's some logs up here too. Let me go flip through those. A little bit of woods right here that I can go through. What is that? It's a slug. First time I first saw it, I was like, what in the heck? Be a good place for snakes. And that whole tree, I can't lose that. <sighs> okay. About end of the drive right here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and stop right here. Oh, maybe, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. Look down the other side of the driveway because that was kind of boring on the way back. So, be right back. So, we are back. I've been walking around for quite a while um, for at least a total of an hour. And, uh, not really having a whole lot too much luck. I'm getting pretty tired. Um, it's hot, it's hot and humid. So, I think I'm, I'm gonna end the video here. I may have a part two. I gotta see why I go to edit if I need to break it up or not. But I will definitely let you know on my Facebook page if I need to break it up and have a part two. So, I also want to say thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing. And also, if you're part of my Facebook page, I appreciate the like and support. Um, so, thank you for everything and I'll be back later.